Microsoft makes Windows 11 24H2 more secure. But not how you'd think, because while most users expect the latest OS versions to come packed with flashy new security features or major user interface upgrades, what Microsoft has done this time is a bit different and far more strategic behind the scenes. Since a big advantage of running the latest version of any operating system is staying updated with critical security patches and improved features, and although major companies like Microsoft, Apple, and Google keep supporting slightly older versions with essential updates, there's always a tipping point where older versions begin to lose access to important tools that keep your system and your data truly secure. And that's exactly what's happening with Windows 11 24H2, which has just quietly become the most secure version of Windows 11 yet. Not because it added something new, but because Microsoft decided to remove support for a powerful security feature, known as VBS Enclaves, from older versions like 23H2 and earlier, a move that's already detailed on the official Microsoft Learn website. And while regular users might not even notice this shift right away, it's a pretty big deal for developers and anyone building or relying on secure Windows applications. So here's the full picture. VBS Enclaves or Virtualization-Based Security Enclaves are a cutting-edge feature used to isolate the most sensitive parts of an app. Think passwords, authentication keys, or proprietary code, keeping them out of reach from other apps, and even the operating system itself, effectively making sure that no matter what else is running on your PC, your private data stays locked away in an impenetrable digital vault. But starting now, Microsoft has officially deprecated support for this feature in Windows 11 23H2 and earlier which means apps that rely on VBS enclaves won't work as intended on those older builds, creating a clear line in the sand between the past and the future of Windows security. And while you'll still receive monthly security patches on Windows 11 23H2 for the time being, your PC won't be as secure as one running 24H2, especially if you're a developer or a business working with sensitive data. And even though average users might not need to scramble for the update just yet, the writing is on the wall. Because as newer apps get built using VBS enclaves, and as security standards keep evolving, you'll eventually find that sticking with 23H2 could limit your compatibility or expose your device to more risk, especially since you won't be able to fully test or run enclave-dependent apps. And yes, the 24H2 update doesn't come with tons of surface-level upgrades, but what it delivers is subtle and powerful. Security that's built into the foundation of your apps and system which is exactly what modern computing demands in a world of constant data breaches and advanced cyber threats. So if you're a developer, this update is essential if you want to continue building, testing, or using enclave-based applications. And even if you're not, it's worth understanding just how much of a leap forward Windows 11 24H2 really is when it comes to locking down your digital life, especially considering how rare it is for Microsoft to deprecate support so decisively in previous versions. And yes, the shift might seem small or technical but it signals a major strategic direction for Microsoft, pushing users and developers alike to adopt the most modern, secure builds of Windows if they want access to the full suite of protective tools. And in a way, this stealthy update is arguably more meaningful than any flashy visual redesign or UI tweak, because it targets the core of what makes an OS trustworthy. And with cyber attacks growing more sophisticated every year, and personal and enterprise data becoming increasingly vulnerable, updates like this aren't just helpful. They're essential, so whether you're already on Windows 11 or holding out on an older build, keep an eye on these changes because the decision to drop support for VBS enclaves in earlier versions is just the beginning, and going forward, we can expect Microsoft to double down on secure by default architecture in future Windows builds, making now the right time to consider moving to Windows 11 24H2 if you haven't already, especially if you're serious about keeping your apps and data protected in the long run. And that wraps up everything you need to know about Microsoft's latest move to make Windows more secure, without most people even realizing it. And if you want more deep dives, tech updates, and straightforward breakdowns like this one, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Techverse, where the future of tech unfolds right before your eyes.